What's going on everyone, it's DV, and today we're gonna be making a dungeon on my island. This is actually gonna be a really cool build because of the fact that you can actually trap anyone that visits your island ever. So it's a great way to troll friends or prank them or just you don't like intruders and don't want them to come out until you say they can come out. Maybe someone's got your join code and they keep joining you while you're on public servers. They keep joining my server. So today we're gonna to actually be showing you how to make a dungeon that you can keep players in and you can decide whenever you want to let them out. Now there are many different versions of this dungeon you can make this is purely inspirational so i'm not going to give you like a full blueprint of exactly how to build the same version that i have here but generally speaking you can use the same kind of technique so before i begin though if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button and smash the grab button man we are almost to 200,000 subs we're only about like a little over 20,000 away and uh, we're about to hit 180,000 subs already so thank you so much for all of your support i really appreciate it and i do see it so thanks so much so in this build obviously with a dungeon we're going to be a little bit more of this rustic kind of look we're going to be using a lot of stone so we're gonna need a lot of stone so i've been working on it i only have like 400 so we're gonna probably need a couple thousand of this in the meantime here's how we're gonna do it so first thing you need to do is you need to spawn on your island either like that or you can reset and you can see it's the same spot right so i'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much break right beneath me and you're gonna see if you have an island with bedrock you're gonna be sitting on top of bedrock this is problematic so if you can actually go and reset your island and get one of the newer islands the newer islands don't have bedrock what's nice about that is you're not gonna end up you know dropping down to bedrock you're gonna continue falling as far as you want so you can actually have them drop as low as this or whatever so it's a lot nicer than what I've got here but uh, you can see this is what's gonna happen is they're gonna drop into our dungeon how I'm gonna do it is I'm actually gonna make it so when they do drop down they actually have a couple tunnels they can go down and once they reach those tunnels they're actually inside gel cells okay kind of like a maze so it's actually gonna be pretty cool you don't have to do it this way I'm gonna do it this way because sometimes I actually want to let out particular players not all players now if they do know how to go and no clip through walls unfortunately there's nothing you could do to stop them from no clipping through walls so first things first what we need to do is we need to actually cut away some of this top ground here so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna pretty much go and take away this top layer just so we can see a little bit more of the ground and we also need to get this a little raised higher because what's happening here is when you spawn into the map we're kind of ground level so it'd be very easy for me to get out just like I just did it'd be very easy for me to get out of the fall and just kind of go on the ground level and just run around right and so how we're gonna do that is we're actually gonna raise things up a little bit there that way people can can't get out you know the whole point of this dungeon is to keep them in a dungeon not to let them out so let's do that in a second here okay that's probably good so let's drop down all right so i'm gonna first do a couple tunnels i'll have a four directional tunnel so how we're gonna do is we're gonna just create a little platform here first and it's gonna look like that right so you basically have a little platform and then we're gonna have them actually choose where they want to drop down basically there's a drop here there's a drop there a drop there and there's gonna be a drop here right so there's different little drop areas Kind of like that. And so how it's going to work is let's just build up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Kind of looks like this. So basically they're going to drop down like this, right? So they're going to drop down and they're going to go into a prison cell from there. So these are all prison cells. So otherwise they're stuck here and they still can't go up, right? So there's, they're not going anywhere regardless, no matter what, they're not really going anywhere. So this is a little drop in and we're going to decorate this a little bit better in a minute. But for now, this is looking pretty good. So we're just going to build this upwards and it's got to come out of the ground a little bit because we don't want someone actually escaping it. So it's got to be a little higher. So when you come down, they you don't want them to be able to get out. See how I just reset and I just jumped up? It's kind of like that, right? So there's ways to do it. So we need to bring this up again so they can't jump out. That's a little bit better. But you see how I was still able to jump? Because you're frozen in the air for a moment. See how I'm able to still jump out? That's what we want to avoid. So we need to go up a little higher. Pretty close. You can still kind of do it. So let's bring it up one more time. Oh, it looks like you can still jump out. Do you see I just jumped out? Oof, that's not good. That is not good. All right, so how we're gonna fix this, we're actually going to build a little bit more of a covering. All right, that's a lot better. There we go. So that's what it's gonna look like. And I'm also gonna break some of this as well. So, cause we don't need these corners looking like this. So it's gonna look pretty clean once we're done here. So we don't need any of this. So we can save some bricks looking clean okay so that is how we do the entrance here it looks a little weird but it's gonna look better in a little bit so don't worry we're gonna build around it we're gonna put some dirt there we're gonna put some trees and stuff it's gonna look legit okay so now what we need to do is we need to hop down inside of it and we need to start building downwards so again th these are the prison cells you're gonna basically drop into these otherwise players can just kind of sit here and kind of wonder what to do next they can keep refreshing they can keep doing this over and over they could try to lag themselves out it's just not gonna work because we didn't give them any space plus this is gonna be completely enclosed so they can't 
can jump out now, which is really nice. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build downwards, right? So we're gonna go do something like this and we're pretty much gonna build our prison cells down here, but it's not gonna be all the way down here. We're gonna actually build upwards because we don't want it too far down here. So we're gonna go to the top here and we're gonna create our prison cells because we wanna make sure they drop far enough down so they can't get out. Feel free to copy this. I really, you know, I build these so you can copy them. So feel free to copy if you like any of this stuff, you know, just take it. It's yours. All right, we're building this down as well. This is gonna be our roof. We're gonna put dirt on the ground. Okay, so let's go do this here. We're just gonna kind of build our roof around. It's okay if it doesn't line up. All right, that looks that looks right to me. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put, we're gonna just put a little bit of ground here. It could be grass for now, just so we can kind of get some groundwork going. So we can get our space correctly. We can start doing some of our walls. Go ahead and fill these in so we don't get confused. There we go. But if you need to disable this during your builds, just build a couple of these down. So you're blocking the spawn and as soon as you reset, you're gonna be on the top. Now to go back down, just basically do this, reset. Now you're inside. And then just drop down from here. So how we're gonna do this is this is gonna be the very right corner. So just start in, at any of these points. And what you're gonna do is to the right of the hole, you're pretty much gonna create a wall like this, right? Just so you don't mess up, just do the lines first of where your walls are gonna be. So like, for example, here is gonna be a wall and then we're gonna put a wall here. So it's to the right and then this one's to the right and this one's to the right. So you should see something like this. There's a wall to the right here. So these are dungeon cells. So now that we check that, we're actually gonna go, we can go about one, two, three, four, five. We can go six out. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks good. Build another stack there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So just build all the way up to the top like that. Okay, so we got our walls in. Now we can actually do our ground. Now we're gonna start converting this over back over to stone because we want this to be stone and just fill these in. Some of it's gonna be dirt later, but that's a detail what we're gonna handle later. Once we start getting into like polishing stuff, we're gonna start block, you know, we'll, we'll take out blocks, we'll convert some of them to look a little bit more rugged, we'll put some mossy blocks in and all that kind of stuff. So we'll do that last. All right, so somewhere along the way, I think I messed up some measurements here. Let me just double check this real quick. Okay, so it should be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they should be five by seven. There we go. Okay, they're all the right size now. So they should be five by seven. We're gonna start doing the bars, but first we need to create a path. So this is like the pathway that our guards and stuff are gonna actually be going through. So we're pretty much gonna create a double here. So it's gonna be two blocks all the way around. So this is where we pretty much can walk around and examine our prison. You don't have to worry about your bricks being perfectly lined up. You could do that later. Okay, so we have a complete circular path here. You can walk all the way around. So how we're gonna do this now is we're going to put some bars here. Hopefully we have enough bars, but we're gonna put bars here and we'll get our doors in in a minute. Basically like that, put these up here. So we're gonna put some corners here, put some corners here. This is where our bars are, gonna, are actually gonna connect. There we go. So we got all of our bars. We could just set them all in here directly in. We're gonna adjust these afterwards because we need a door and stuff. And then we could just do this one as well. There we go. Okay, and so you'll be able to go around your cells. Now, if you wanna make them actually symmetrical, like width-wise, you can do that too. They're basically set up in a way that each corner is the same dimension. So you fall off, right, and it's the same size. And you fall down, it's the same. It, you wouldn't even know which cell you're in. It's, it's identical, right? So let's go ahead and start blocking these off. So we can use stairs now up here, and we're gonna seal off the top of these fences because we don't want it to look like a fence. Build these and block that top part off. Just like that. And we can use stairs. I think stairs looks really good. All right, let's get some slabs too. So let's put a slab in here, put these corners. There's a slab in that corner, in that corner, in this corner. And you can see like once we get up here, let me show you how this is working so far. So you're still, you know, falling along, right? Drop down, you're in a prison cell. It's so cool. You're stuck in my prison. Okay, so now we're actually going to make it so that we need to do the top right here. So let's get this here. Pretty much go all the way across. Same thing here. And we'll put, um, I think a block should be good for that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're gonna do the others. And then just remember to put a block right here. And in fact, let's put a block here too. I think it'll look better like that. Well, just that way we could just surround the entire thing with the same kind of look. We'll put blocks there too. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's go to the next one here. This one I just gotta correct real quick. Let's put that here. The great thing about doing projects like this, honestly, you're gonna enjoy islands so much better if you're doing little projects like this. This is how the game, in my opinion, this is how the game should be played. It's the most optimal experience. Just do little projects on your island. There we go, we're just this side. This is the only one left. There's that one, that piece. Then we could just use slabs for the rooftop here, like that. Okay, so we got the roofs in. We just need to do the rest of this right here. So this needs to be covered too. So let's just go ahead and put some bricks over that. 
That way when you look up, you don't see anything. And then I need a good way for me to be able to go in here too. So we're gonna make a little passageway for us to get into so we don't have to keep dropping in. So I'm probably gonna do that on the other side of this. But for now, we do need to fix this because I don't have any space. So we're just gonna, this part right here is just gonna be walls, which is totally fine with me. I just needed this for a guide anyway so I don't fall off the cliff. We're going to seal this up right here this is gonna be a wall getting pretty close though we're getting we're making good progress here doesn't really take that long to build this once you understand the concept and hopefully this will go faster for you because i did have a little bit of you know figuring out to do while i was building this whereas for you if you're building something very similar to this it, it should be it should save you a ton of time okay this is looking really good just need to do the ceiling now all right that's looking really good Okay, we got our bricks here so you can kind of see outside. We'll put another one. So this is right here. We'll put another one right here. We'll do one right here, here, and okay. So let's go hop outside and let's fix those up. All right, we just got to put blocks right under, just one block down under the window and just put the bars in now. Looks good. Okay, let's drop back in. Now the question is where to put our entrance. I kind of want to do like a corner. So maybe we'll do something like right here. It looks good. That way you, you can't really see it from the, um, the prison cell. There we go. And then we're going to put some iron doors in here. So we need some iron doors now. I think I, yeah, I've got so many of these. Perfect. Okay, so we got an iron door there. Let's go ahead and block that. And I'm going to make it so you can't really see where this comes from like that. That way from the prison can't really see it so that way from inside you can't really see where that goes looks better okay so now what we need to do we can take that out now what we need to do is figure out where our doors are going to go so i'm thinking i'm thinking like maybe like at the edges on these like right there and here and so we could basically put this right here hmm it's tough because it doesn't actually line up so they can pretty much squeeze through i think so we're gonna have to tweak this a little bit so if I put this here, that might work. I wonder if it should be in more. I think so. Something like that. Looks like that'll work. Let's tweak this just a little bit so it looks a little bit cooler. There we go. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. Gotta build downwards. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. Okay, we still gotta test this afterwards to see how it goes. Gotta test it. I'll test all my alts first. Do I got them all? I did them all, okay, cool. Now we need some torches because right now it looks a little weird. Definitely need some torches in here. I'm curious if I should do something like this too to block those bars a little bit more because they're kind of out there. What do you think? Something like this? Yeah, that's looking better. The bars just, I don't like seeing the top. It looks like too much like a fence. So we'll do this. It looks 10 times better already. And dungeons should feel a little tighter like this, you know? Let's use a slab here, another slab, and one more slab. There we go. All right, so this is looking really good. So you run around, you can see all the dungeon cells. This needs to get fixed. Forgot about this one. There we go. Okay, and then on the inside, how does that look? Should we do the same? I think so, yeah. When it's too spacious, it doesn't really feel like a dungeon cell, you know? So I think by putting this down here, doing like another layer of this, it looks so much better. So we'll do them all just like that. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we need some torches and stuff. So let's get our lighting fixed. And I wonder if we have any like sheets. We have this, this is a beach towel, but I wonder if there's any other kind of beach towels. You know what we could do is we can use like, oh, I know what to do. We'll do this. So they'll, they'll sleep on a, a stone bed. And then we need some hay, we need some hay in here. And uh, we're gonna need some dirt in here too. So let's go ahead and make some of this into some dirt. There we go. There's a little bit of dirt now. And let's put a haystack in here. Just looks a little weird, but I think it'll work. I don't think so, it'll work. Let's turn on shadows too. There we go. Look how exaggerated that looks. Look how dark it is in here now. Let's turn that Let's turn that back off. There we go. That was really dark. All right, let's just do this little section now. That's looking pretty cool. All right, we need some lights. So let's get some like um, torches or something. We got candles too. Yeah, torches will work. Okay, for the torches, how we're gonna do it is we're gonna put a torch in the wall, like probably in a like corner, each corner. There's two and there could be one like right there. That way the rest of the area is pretty dark. And then on the other side of that, let's put a let's put a brick so that it looks better. You know, it should look better. We'll put some candles out too. There we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check inside again and let's turn on um, shadows. Let's see what shadows look like. There we go. Yeah, look how dark it is. Too bad we don't have like bones or something. That would've been great. Do we have anything like that we can add in here? Oh, we can add like, um, we could add dead bushes. Let's put that there. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. All right, now we can do something like this to the ground. If you don't do this in your builds, you really should. I think it looks like so much better when you do it. Really breaks things up, no pun intended. You basically do something like this. 
That way when you're running around, you know, it looks so much better on the floor. Drop moss stone wherever you can. And not only on the floor, but also on the walls here and there. That way when you're walking through, it just looks so much better. So you're just scattering it, you know, totally randomly. Sometimes L shapes are good, so something like this. You can also do catty corner like that. Whatever, whatever works. Every little detail helps. You can also use the stairs um, on the walls. Similar effect, and I'll do that in a minute. So you can do something like this. All right, that looks pretty good. One thing I also wanna do is I wanna look into doing something like this on the outside wall, just to make it look a little bit more path-like. So check that out. See what I'm saying? The wall looks a little weird being so cornered like that. So we're gonna do something like this to change it up a bit and just use slabs um, when you can. So basically, as soon as we get to this corner, you're just basically gonna put a, you're gonna put a slab right there. Or you could use a regular brick, you know, full-size brick, works fine. All right, yeah, that looks 10 times better. Check that out. This looks so cool. And to add a little bit more exaggerated effect, here's what we're gonna do. So behind these walls, right? So you got these drops right in the middle here, basically like I think around there, you can put in wall lights with some red fireflies. It's gonna be super subtle. If we do this and then block it, I don't know if it's gonna come out very well. You get a little bit of that red effect. So you can do it right above as well. You get a cool effect in the corners. If it's too much, then just reduce it a little bit. Yeah, it's a little too much. So let's go and reduce it. If you don't like red, you wanna go a little bit more cool colors, you can go blue. Blue's cool. Or even green. We'll use green. That's cool. I like that. I think we're ready for a real test. Okay, so I'm actually going to publish my island. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we got some people that are gonna be coming in. The first thing I'm gonna be looking for is to make sure they don't, you know, spawn outside of this. <laughs> He's stuck in the prison. Oh man. <laughs> He's like, uh, yes, go down, go down. They went down. Let's go visit them. Let's go visit them. <laughs> oh God, I'm stuck. DB put us in jail. <laughs> yes. Wait, did I catch anyone else? <laughs> Kong followers cannot be allowed out. Oh, they're all coming in. They're all coming in. I wonder if they're around my island. Let me see. Did they punch out? Let's make sure they're not all up top. Okay, I think they all, they're all they all spawning in. Yeah, they're all, look at, they're all in the bucket. They're all right here. Yes. Are they all in? I don't see anyone else. Oh, look at, they're down here. <laughs> oh, dude. They're all stuck in his cage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, another one. Prisoners. <laughs> Hello, my prisoners. <laughs> food eat i like it i got some more prisoners <laughs> did he let us out <laughs> oh man this is so funny they're trying to get out this <laughs> <So it> works <laughs> oh no <laughs> food what is he doing <laughs> what is he doing i feel like db is recording all right so now i've got to finish this area up so i'm gonna build up towards this we can get rid of all these stone cutters and we'll finish this up so if you have a similar challenge here you'll know what you can do so what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna build up towards this platform here so it looks a little bit more like a hill like that and just build a little outwards like this so I'm gonna continue fine tuning this a little bit later because I actually really wanna redo this water system. Just the layout of the water looks a little weird. So I'm gonna be redoing a lot of this anyway, but um, this works for now. Works pretty good for now. All right, there we go. So that's pretty good for now. You know, like I said, we're gonna probably create a statue up here. I think I wanna make a core golem or something that's pretty cool. We'll see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new. And just before we end it, I'm actually gonna give you another quick tour of this just because it's fun. So we drop down and we go in here here dude this is so cool yeah i like this this is really cool this is a great way to troll visitors just lock them in so even if they get out of their cell they're still stuck in here thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time peace